Hi guys and welcome to the channel. I am Marv. This is Readings by Marvelous Madame Tarot. This is going to be your May 2024 uh, first energy reading for you. This is going to be for the beautiful sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Libra, everything you need is below in the description box and in the pinned comment for you and your collective. Please pardon my tardiness this month. I've had a lot going on, but I am going to get as much of this um, energy, the energy readings up on the channel as I can. But Libra, you do have um, a breakout channel. So two of your videos have been uploaded. Please go over there. Um, Marvelous Libra Tribe is the channel. You can search it up in the search bar. Um, and this month, the energy readings for the second energy reading has been extended for purchase if you're interested in that. We are going to go in with a love reading over here, okay? Um, if you're interested in shopping with my wax shop or shopping in my wax shop or interested in booking a personal reading, all of that can be found on my website, www.marvelousmadame.com. Links below. Please go follow the pages over on Instagram. This is for Libra. We're finding out what they feel about you, Libra. What do they feel about Libra? Feel, healing family issues is what we're leading with and what they what they feel, okay? Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Interesting. So, Libra, you are connecting with an individual who really is afflicted by a lot that took place in their... Um, a lot took place when they were a child. Um, this needs to be healed. And a lot of what they have shown you is being manifested in adulthood. Okay. What do, what do we have in the heart? What do we have in the heart place? Thank you, spirit. We have religious factors. In addition to that, the way that this person grew up is completely different than you. Your love life is affected or influenced by your religious path and, and sorry, your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I think that when it has come down to the differences between you, you guys, and a lot of us feel like those, those things should not play a role, but they do. The, uh, because when you start to really dissect the way that you emote versus another person it can be it can prove to be very detrimental to a relationship what what else do they feel about libra so so far what i'm getting is why they're not acting the way not, why they're not showing you the best of them i'm not getting yet how they feel i'm getting what's preventing them from feeling or showing those feelings in a healthy way and we finally have codependency. Yep, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, hopefully our clarifiers will let us know something a little bit more. But um, I'm just going to let you know you could be dealing with a person who makes a lot of excuses. You can be with a person who maybe have some narcissistic traits, narcissistic traits. You can be a, with a person who blames shifts. This individual doesn't know why they are the way that they are, but... I'm telling you that the angels, you know, the romance angels has, have come out and laid these out before you today um, to confirm for you, Libra, what is going on with this person, okay? We're going to go ahead and clarify. So healing family issues, religious factors in the heart place, and codependency. This person can have an extremely addictive personality. This individual could be addicted to playing the victim because this is a lot. It's very heavy. Um, and I think that overall, you guys are just two totally different people. So it's really not letting us know how they feel versus how they are. What has affected them to make them the type of partner that, that they were to you? Why are these cards here for Libra? Yeah. You guys, you walked away from this individual. Eight cups. Wow. Wow. Religious factors being clarified by five pentacles. What else do we have? Jesus. And this isn't more like a what do they feel? My goodness. Codependency. They're extremely codependency on their family. 
Um, codependency is being clarified by Ten of Cups. So this is the type of individual who gets their fulfillment from the same family that they need to heal from. This is who they are. They are extremely codependent on their family, maybe have toxic relationships with their siblings, um, but they can't see the forest for the trees. So healing family issues is being clarified by the eight of cups. You walked away from this individual. There is definitely space between you. You couldn't take it anymore. And I'm letting you know right now that if you're not with this person and this is resonating with you, I'm just going to let you know that bottom line is, is that the reason why you walked away, it is confirmed that they have a lot of things that they need to heal. And at this point, a lot of people that go through this and that are the consummate victim, no matter what happens, they refuse to take accountability for anything. That's the type of person that you're supposed to walk away from. I am going to confirm for you that they've lost a lot of relationships due to the same pattern. So you're not the first, not that that makes you feel better, just to confirm I'm feeling like a lot of you guys knew this in your intuition and Libra, you're not going to sit around and wait, but I'm just telling you when it comes down to religious factors, there was either a sickness or some type of deep, dark family secret that they don't want you to know that has something to do with either growing up poor or being sick or something that has deeply affected this individual into adulthood. It's kind of sad because if you're that afflicted, you need to go and have some type of counseling and get yourself together. And as a cardinal air sign, you value balance and you value talking things over. And it could be that this individual constantly blocks you from trying to make forward movement. And if you can't move forward, manifesting things the way you see fit Libra is not going to work out. So I almost feel like this person left you no choice but to walk away because they are stuck here. And you're, you don't value victims. Like if you, you want to help, if anything, this person has rejected your help and it's hard to help a person that doesn't want to help themselves. So you walk away. When it comes down to codependency, not only are they the co completely codependent on the family dynamic, they only feel that they are able to give love and they're happy when their family dynamic or that their family member or their family is doing well. They can still live at home with their family members. They can take care of family members. Their happiness is deeply rooted with what goes on in a family as a result. If they're not taking care of their family member or is not living in this communal home with all of these family members in it, then this codependency is going to deeply affect the way that they move forward in relationships because nothing can move and shake unless that dynamic is, 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 um, let's say is never really resolved. But if something is going on in their family life in a household that doesn't even have to, doesn't even have to be their household, but everything that they think, feel, say is intertwined with this family dynamic. That's where, that's what's made them the happiest and that's what's made them the saddest. And as a result, the second card that came out is the moon. So they have a fluctuation in emotions and on top of them, their emotions constantly fluctuating. They don't tell you how they feel. Their emotions only come back or only are, is revealed when no one's looking. They don't, they're not comfortable with being vulnerable either. And, um, before we reveal, um, the two cards at the top of the deck, I just want to say that in addition to this, they may not, their communication has completely shut down. So this is not saying how they feel. This is more so confirming for some of you guys why they are the way that they are and why you had to walk away. What's looking back at me is the two of swords and the nine of pentacles. Right now you're focused on doing your own thing. Um, I think they want this for you as well because they they've made their mind up that they can't give you what you want. Um, and they've blocked their emotions out and are trying to focus on their nine of pentacles. Now, like I said, um, I don't think at this point you care Libra because you have walked away from this individual, but I'm just letting you know, um, that they're trying to focus on their money. Their happiness is, is, um, 
tied up in this family dynamic and the family dynamic that they need to heal from, the very family dynamic that they need to heal from is the one that tore them apart. And that family dynamic is not the ideal family dynamic, but in their eyes, it's the damn, it's the best damn thing since sliced bread. So what else do they want to say to Libra? Thank you. Give me one more. And the unfortunate part about this um, Libra is the only thing that remains is the moon. So uh, illusionary and delusionary thoughts. Um, unfortunately, they're not looking at their poor misrepresentation of you um, and any of this. They're looking at they can only see what's in front of them. They can't see how this their inability to be able to emote and grow up and detach themselves from their family members or whatever this unfortunate dynamic is has affected this relationship so what remains is the moon in addition this is what they are not telling you the future i daydream about our future together going on adventures and growing old together i want it all well what they want they're certainly not doing spoiling you i want to give you the good life i want to spoil you with gifts and trips and everything you could ever need or want you deserve nothing less and showing out i'm acting like i don't care about what happened between us but i do i just want to appear unbothered so what remains is the moon they're not going to let you know how they feel they value hiding their feelings, unfortunately. And I think ultimately this, this just boils down to Libra. You can't help a person that doesn't want to help themselves, which is unfortunate, but this is what it is. I really do apologize. So for some of you, that is what we're dealing with here. Okay. Like share and subscribe to the marvelous tribe. Everything you need is below in the description box for you and your collective Libra. And I will see you. And number three. Bye, guys.